Wouter, if she ever thought that Sonano would turn into this, and she was at heaven's name. She really thought that she would be a backup post. But she, Aaron, with the miss, and now here's Clark being aggressive to the hoop by O'Grady. Madison O'Grady, number 44, gives Iowa some quality minutes, and that's a quality move by Clark. Coached, which is saying something. And he said it straight face because I thought for a moment, considering some of the greats he's had, that he was like, maybe, but he said right now she is. Clark defended by Yaney. Going to be half points per game. Caitlin. Martin, second chance. Clark buries it. Clark pulls it, nails it. She, she's she's a shot maker. That's what she does. And, and as long as they're contested, as long as you're not bailing her out, you got to be tight enough, certainly, to contest a three-point shot. And if she makes it over the top of you, fine, she does. What you don't want to do is allow her to get by and just pick you apart and then play soft and she gets open looks. Like, that's like a that. shot that she takes that outside shot. There are no rebounders for Oregon State. And that allows Iowa to get out and run. Clark just getting around Yaney. Kate Martin got a hand on that. And now... Two on one, Clark with a little head fake and then rolled it in. This ball battled for. Here comes Clark streaking down the left side. You see just how she's up. Three minutes without a point. Clark finally gets one to go and she'll have a chance. At a three-point play, just her second bucket of the half. Interesting, because when Clark first got the ball, there was no one on this right side. Mm -hmm. uh, that was going to be a complete clear out for her to go. And then a teammate cut, and luckily she was able to draw the foul there, because that took away her opportunity to turn the corner. Manon just picked up her second for the Beavers. Right-handed floater. Again, just continue to be impressed with her pace.